Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are back with the second wedding planning vlog. Um, so today we are actually heading to um, a open house of a venue. Um, I seen this when I was venue searching, so I was just like, why not go? Um, even though I'm not going with this venue and I've already locked in my venue, I decided why not still go um, network meet some new people, different things like that. And so yeah, that's where we're headed at now. Um, also, stop what you're doing, subscribe to this YouTube channel, make sure you like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. If you guys love these wedding vlogs, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have any tips, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so we're heading to this venue. Um, it's in Lexington. Um, it's about 30 minutes from me. Um, so I'm actually excited about it. Um, and so hopefully during this time that I'm going to the venue, I can actually um, potentially find a videographer um, because I am still looking for a videographer. Like that's one of the big main things that I'm looking for. I have a caterer. We're just going to keep it simple and go with a restaurant. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, my sister is going with me. I'm going to show you guys the venue when we get there. So in case you are getting married and you're in Columbia, South, Columbia, South Carolina, um, and you may like this venue and have the money for it, you can go. So yeah, I'm going to uh, kind of like video it while I'm there. So yeah. Just got back from looking at the venue, like going to the open house. I was able to meet vendors and different things like that. Um, I think I found somebody to do my bridal shower. I really, um, but I am super excited. I think I found a videographer and they actually have a package deal with like a photographer too. So I think I might end up going with them. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research. But I'm excited y'all. Everything was nice. We just got back. It is far away though. Um, it's, it's out there. But you know. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you guys love it. I'm going to show what it looks like. Strawberry on my lips and your fingertips. I can feel the beat running through the speakers. Blue skies, blue waves every day. We got the sunshine by the poolside Such a fun time living for the hot light With the right vibes and the tan line Keep the free mind, yeah Cause we got the sunshine by the poolside Such a fun time living for the hot light Bring the right vibes and the tan lines Keep the free mind, yeah Rose color on my chin Got the sunshine by the poolside Such a fun time living for the hot life Bring the right vibes and the tan lines Keep the free mind, yeah Cause we got the sunshine by the poolside
well in the sunflower field we're going to do photos in the sunflower field molly's really knocked out uh -huh. so it's going to be like a family portrait plus a couple's portrait and we're going to use these for the save the dates um but i'm excited we are here in the boondies we had to travel almost two hours to get here we got 45 more minutes left um and we're truly in the boondies like literally in the boondies um we see no stores no gas stations <laughs> nothing but trees houses and woods so yeah but yeah i know i won't be able to record the photo shoot but i will share the pictures so yeah to the venue to meet my sister we were supposed to go at like 11 30 this morning but we both forgot because it started raining out of nowhere like literally then i got soaking wet so then i came home and for some reason i just passed out in the bed so i just really woke up from a nap our meeting is like 3 30 3 45 um so that's what we're doing now we're heading to the venue we're gonna meet each other there um so yeah i'm excited to show you guys the venue that i chose you guys are gonna love it because i love it um and yeah so you guys ready i'm ready let's go The venue that we chose was the Mish House. The Mish House has everything that we want, so like literally all into one. Um, the price is good. The building has its own parking lot. It has a his and her room included in the price. It also has um, two separate rooms where you can separate the ceremony and the reception. It has an outside space if you decided you wanted to have your, your ceremony outside. Um, you also have an area where you could do cocktail hour or you can do um, a dance floor in that area. It has um, very open space where people can kind of go outside and be, and feel comfortable without disturbing um, anybody or anything like that. So I love that aspect. Um, and I also love that it's not too far from the interstate because we do have people traveling from out of, um, out of town, like Orangeburg area. Um, and so I just love everything about the space. I love the dressing rooms. The actual men dressing room has a shower in it. Um, so yeah, this is our venue that we chose. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how we set this up. It is going to be incredible. All right, so just a little update. Um, it's actually a pretty sad update, you guys. Oh, I'm so mad. Um, So the wedding photographer that I was initially going with, cannot do it um they're not available on our wedding day they've actually scheduled um family vacation during that time and i'm like oh, i know i understand I'm, i hope that my backup photographer is available um i'm actually like a little frustrated though i am um, but I can't control the outcome, like the situation or anything. I am going to reach out to my backup photographer, um, probably next week or the week after. I don't know, but I know. So I am going to reach out to that backup photographer that I had on the list. And hopefully that backup photographer is available. I am still narrowing down my videographers, um, but as of right now, a videographer is not top priority until I get my photographer. 
going to reach out to the caterers next week, probably. Um, mostly just to get pricing because I'm looking at two small businesses that's here in Columbia. Um, so I'll probably reach out to them next week for pricing um, and to see like what's a menu option that we could potentially go with. That's all the update that I have for now. I'm actually going to order the save the dates templates probably today um, and get that out the way. Um, I kind of already know all of the templates that I'm going to go for, like as far as the wedding invitation and save the dates. Um, in the programs, um, I'm doing all of that DIY style. I'm going to just get the templates off of Etsy, put them together myself because only I know what I want, and then get it printed. So yeah, that's what we're doing probably today. We're going to order probably just to save the dates templates first, get that started so that when we get our pictures back from the sunflower field, I could just add the pictures and then send them off. We'll get them printed and send them off and add them to our website as well. So once I get the pictures, I'll be updating the website, adding the weather registry to the website and putting a little bit more information on the website. And then I'll share the website. But as of right now, the website would not be shared until everything is completely on there in a way where um, it's accessible for guests and they can understand it and things like that. But of course, if you do want to give us a gift as far as like a wedding gift, um and you want the registry i'll make sure to put that link in probably like vlog three or four um but i know it won't be in this one um because i haven't gotten all of the information i need to get into it so yeah um that's what we're doing um but yeah that's pretty much all of the eight updates right now that i have um so yeah hello so um right now i am sitting at my computer and i am doing the save the dates um i am doing the invitations and the response card and the detail cards i ordered mine off of etsy um so i'm doing diy style for my um invitations and things i'm also doing my programs from etsy as well i'm using the same shop person um i'm not doing different styles just doing a simple newspaper style invitation um so i am doing that right now like to save the date so i can get that out next week um also what else can i update you guys on Oh, so I have a meeting with a new photographer tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how that goes and um, see if we lock them in or not. Uh, we did get our uh, pictures back from the sunflower field that we're using for our save the dates. We did get those pictures back. Um, so I'm about to show you guys what they look like. Um, well, I'm gonna show you the gallery, but I'm gonna post the pictures, you know, throughout the video so you guys can actually see it and things like that. We do have a new hashtag. I told you guys that hashtag at the last end of that video probably was not gonna be the hashtag. Um, I'm letting Emmanuel choose the hashtag, and he's been really extra. <laughs> Which is fine, but I told him that it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be hard or anything like that. It's just supposed to be fun and creative. Um, so hopefully that takes off um, any stress that he may have for this hashtag. But yeah, so we got our pictures back. And I want to show you guys what they look like. They're super nice. Um, and also, we actually have a little surprise. YouTube may not let the music play, but we're we'll, we going to cross our fingers. That they, that they do okay um so yeah let's see right it. here is the initial email that i got from angela of carolina rain photography and you guys i absolutely love the way that for one she edited and two the way she sent this gallery super cute and adorable so let's click on it and see all right i probably gotta type in my email so hold on all right, so I had to type in my email really quickly. But yes, once you open up the gallery, let me make sure the volume is up. Oh, I got to cut the sound off. Y'all, you hear this? I'm cut it down some so YouTube won't flag it. 
But yes. can see she really put in so much effort and i'm just so thankful for angela um so i did leave her a review on google as well and um by the time you guys see this video anyway it will be oh, i cannot talk it will have been posted on you um instagram um so i did like a quick little reel well created i've already created like a quick little reel of our pictures that i'm going to post on instagram um i'm super excited about so yeah back to the save the dates so i am actually working on that now um i guess i can give you guys like a sneak peek of the save the dates because i probably will post it here inside of um the youtube video um and also post who i got the save the dates from um if you want to use this style of save the dates and invitations and yeah um let's let me show you guys all right so this is the save the date template so um, i may end up changing this picture i'm not sure yet and maybe use one where both of our faces are kind of showing i'm not sure um, but this right here is a card. So this right here will let you uh, people know if they're coming out of town and they want to book and make reservations that they could potentially make it at whatever location you may have it at. Um, and then you could put your website down below. You have a QR code. We are going to have like a honeymoon fun on here. Um, and that's just something that we decided to do. People don't have to give in, like put in money or anything. They could just do a gift, which we have like a registry for. Um, and then this right here will be the RSVP card. Um, and I probably will put on here. I'm probably going to change this part right here with the choice of meat and probably put maybe like a music selection choice, like something that you want to add to the playlist for you to have fun and like dance and different things like that. So I may add that on there. Um, and I don't know, sounds fun. Um, this right here is like the instructions on, I guess, how to customize the font and download the file and saving and all of that good stuff for it to print. Um, and then this right here is the actual wedding invitation. Um, and so I'm actually excited about creating this too. So this right here is just once again, it's almost like the detail card, um, but it's like the formal um, invitation that gives you a picture and all of that and letting the person know that they are invited and this is the time that it's going to start and different things like that. Um, so let's go back to the actual store that I got this from. So this is the store that I got it from. Um, they also do programs and they also have other things in there like signs and things like that and then they have um this wedding backdrop template which i might actually end up doing i think that's pretty dope i don't know yet um they have stuff for your bridal shower um they have like this little wedding photo prop thing that you could do um they have little cards so everything can kind of be in the same format from the same store and as you see they have so many different things um, this right here is the wedding program that I'm actually doing. Um, so I want to do it like this. I'm actually kind of excited to see how it's going to come out. It'll tell our story. Um, it gives like a timeline of what's going to happen during a wedding. Um, and then I love that, you know, you can see, um, you know, like leave a message. You can do who's in the wedding party, which we're not having a wedding party. So this would kind of be like a venue shout out. Um, and then this right here is just like the wedding ceremony itself. And then you can kind of just be creative on the back of it. Um, so they have different things that you could do. And then you tell the story, I guess, of how you guys met. Um, you have to share the love, the hashtag, 
Um, and also this would be like our in love and memory portion, which, you know, that would be where we put um, people that are really close to us that have already gone on. Um, and then this right here is just like the general wedding timeline, but in the creative aspect. So um, I'm super excited about doing that. And then you can also use it and do it on your phone. Um, you can edit on your phone, different things like that. So super excited about it um so i've been working on the save the date template i actually just kind of started working on it but i'm going to also probably just go ahead and do the invitation and all of that tonight just to go ahead and knock it out the way not to worry about trying to do too much but yeah i'm excited so right now i'm also creating like a bridal registry i actually need to figure out what my bridal invitations are going to look like my bridal shower invitations um, cause it probably won't be the same style, like the newspaper style. Um, I actually may do that a little differently. It may be a little bit more flowers and things like that just because it's for me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my little small little show that I showed you guys as far as like the invitations and things like that. But once again, I'll put a screenshot of the store up, um, right here so that you guys can see who I got everything through as far as with the invitations and things like that on Etsy. Um, please know if you're a bride and you're trying to save money and you're trying to be creative and have small things and you're very detailed like I am, Etsy may be your best friend. I'm being so honest. Um, I'm looking to get my jean jacket from there. I'm looking to do like slippers and maybe like a robe, a sweatshirt. I got my cousin to do my makeup for my save the date photos. And I got my other cousin to do my hair, which was the braids that I have in now. Um, so I'll put both of their um, social medias up so that you guys can follow them and potentially reach out to them if you need your hair done or if you need your makeup done. So, yeah. Um, but hopefully I can give you guys an update on tomorrow about the photographer. Um, and if we're going to go with them, um, but yeah, stay tuned and see you guys later. So I had a call earlier today with the photographer um, and it is a package deal with the videographer as well. So that's a good thing. So I didn't initially go with my second person that I was going to use for photography. Um, I ended up finding somebody else on Wedding Wire. Um, so I think I'm going to, we're going to go with them. Emmanuel just left here today and I showed him all of the stuff um, and we kind of agreed on we're just going to probably go with them because you get two into one. So that saves a lot of time and a lot of money um, as well. Because then we do a photographer and a videography separately. Um, they're already kind of on a team together. So they'll work very well together and know each other how to maneuver and everything throughout the wedding. Um, also, I called the caterer today. Um, I have to call the other place tomorrow just to get like a pricing with them. I didn't necessarily get a pricing with the caterer today. Um, she more so sent like a menu for us to choose from and then they'll just create a proposal based on um, what we actually um, choose. So we're gonna work on that this weekend and I'm gonna also call the other place um, just in case we have to do the same thing with them. And we could just kind of like send it back at the same time and don't have to worry about it. So that will work out very perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all of the updates so far right now. This weekend, we are planning on doing wedding band shopping. Um, he kind of just want to go ahead and get it out the way, which I understand. Um, so he'll already have it picked and everything we're going to do. He, he's not really a last minute person. So that is why... We are going wedding band shopping <laughs> this weekend. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all of the updates for now. I don't want this vlog to be too long. Um, this is probably the closeout of the vlog. Um, and then I'll update you guys on more stuff in the next vlog, which will be vlog number three. Um, I'm super excited. I hope that you guys enjoy um the vlog so far or the vlogs um make sure that you do go back and watch the first vlog if you didn't as well so that you can kind of like stay up to date with everything in order um but yeah i'm super excited you guys found out so much in this vlog you found out chose as a venue 
um, you found out our official hashtag and you've seen our pictures that we took in the sunflower field. So you guys have seen a lot in this vlog and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have not, please make sure that you do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Um, and give any tips that you may have. I'm always open to tips, even though I am a photographer and people may think that I know a lot because I'm in the industry. But that does not mean anything. Um, sometimes you learn things from other people and I'm okay with that. Um, so please, let me know if you have any tips. I will really look forward to it. And I hope that my blog is able to help other brides out there that is in the planning process. Um, so yeah, I, but I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace.